look here we've got we can't connect to the server at flag and there it is that was our flag that we were looking for hi friends welcome back to the channel i'm in my kitchen if you're new here my name's ash i'm 27 i'm a cybersecurity enthusiast and on this channel we cover all try hack me walkthroughs on our way to cybersecurity professionalism on today's video we're going over takeover a recently released try hack me room for all details like playlists timestamps and links please see the description otherwise let's get into it okay so we're on try hack me in the room takeover this challenge revolves around sub domain enumeration now learn from me and actually read the description just a little thing i learned if you come over to the learn tab and click on search filter through ctfs go for the newest and we'll go easy and we've got our takeover room and along with that description which sometimes might not actually include any hints try hack me actually use these little tags security enumeration web subdomains so these are all hints that we can use that are going to point us in the right direction. I just really wish that I actually read that when I started this room. Okay, I'm gonna click start machine so we can get that booted. Uh, I noticed that this took a little bit like five minutes or so to actually boot up properly. So just so you're aware. So let's read our description here. We've got a note or a message. Hello there. I am the CEO and one of the co-founders of futurevera.thm. In Futurevera, we believe that the future is in space. We do a lot of space research and write blogs about it. We used to help students with space questions, but we are rebuilding our support. Recently, Black Hat hackers approached us saying they could take over and are asking us for a big ransom. Please help us to find what they can take over. Our website is located at HTTPS futurevera.thm and we have a hint here. Don't forget to add our IP address. Yours will vary in the Etsy hosts file so that we can see it. All right, I've got my Kali VM. Let's get on the try hack me network. Uh, looks like my file has has got a little issue getting on the VPN. Uh, if you have this issue, I have a little help guide I wrote and it always tends to be this right here in the location of your VPN file and then you should be good to go. And just confirm, awesome. Can we see our box? Yes. All right, let's do a scan. Typically I'm using Nmap, um, but I've recently just started using a Rust scan. So we can use the dash A for addresses. So we've got 22 for SSH, 80 for HTTP and 443 for HTTPS. Uh, this also goes through and does a, an Nmap scan and we can confirm those services on those ports are correct. So let's open it up in Firefox. If you're like me and didn't follow the hint. So let's edit our hosts file. And in here we want to paste our IP address and then the domain. So since we're looking at subdomains, I'm not sure if we can use wildcards in this, like use an asterisk for any subdomain. I'm gonna give it a go, see if it works. So let's go back to our browser and hit refresh. So we have a connection not secure and we're trying to go on the HTTPS. So let's go for HTTP and we have a redirect. So it's constantly asking us for this. So this is a little bit of a hint or a little bit of a direction. So if we go for the advanced, we can say that there's an invalid security certificate for us and we can actually view that certificate. Uh, so it's not gonna give us anything substantial right now, but it is an indication of where to look. For now, let's just accept risk and continue. And this is our website. So do we have anywhere that we can upload anything? Just from looking, there's nothing really. We have a learn more, which just scrolls down. So that's kind of it. So let's do some further enumeration to see what we can find. So we can use GoBuster in the directory mode. So we'll just use the double V for verbosity so we can see what it's doing. We're gonna output this result to just a GOB file so we can read it again. We've got our URL in there and then we just have a common word list. So when we run that, we get an error saying that there's this invalid certificate. So if we have a quick look through the directory help, we can see that there is a dash K for no TLS validation which skips this TLS certificate verification, which is what our issue is right now. So if we run this again, and add a dash K in, you can actually start running. So that's gonna start looking for directories. So let's get another scan going and start looking for some subdomains. So GoBuster has a DNS tool, which uses DNS subdomains enumeration mode, but there's also a vhost. Now going through this room, I was trying DNS and through the assistance of the Discord, I saw that vhost actually worked better. Let's go for the GoBuster. We'll output this to sub dash. We'll use that dash K again, but we'll also add 
append domains because we're looking for subdomains. We want this to go at the beginning of the domain, bash u for our address and then our word list. And we'll use the same derb common. I will just remove the HTTPS. I'm forgetting to use the vhost and yeah, it's not domains with the plural, just the pen domain. So while that scan's going, let's see what was found in our last search. So we've got some files that we can't access. We have an index.html which we were on um, and then we have some other assets which we can go and take a look at and yeah nothing too interesting there. We haven't found anything. I know that there are subdomains here so let's try a different word list. Uh, I'm going to go grab sec lists. Okay, now we have our sec lists installed. For our scan this time, we're just going to change our word list. And there's a uh, discovery web content common.txt that we're going to try. And we'll just output that file. You know, I just realized I'm not actually using the domain name. This is why my scans aren't showing anything. If I actually put the domain in this time, now we can see that we're actually finding something. And lastly, make sure to put HTTP s in like you normally would and now if i grep our file that i'm saving everything to we can see that there's an at a blog and a support so let's go check those out it looks like our wildcard hasn't worked in our etsy file uh, so if we go to our host uh, so we can just do it like this just each line blog support and save that off so now we can actually navigate um, to our blog and there is a bad certificate on this and also if we duplicate that and we look at our support there is a Again, a bad certificate on this. And if you remember going back to our description, it read, we used to help students with space questions, but we are rebuilding our support. Support, ah, uh, so this is sort of our link here. So if we look at our certificate here for our support subdomain, we can find in the DNS name, we have secret help desk 934752.support.futurevera. Or try hack me. If we go there directly again, that's not going to allow us. So let's copy that and again edit our host file and we'll paste in this subdomain. I'm sure that there's a way to do wildcards. We'll save that off so we can indeed actually go to it and we will refresh and let's have a poke around. The certificate isn't giving us anything. Why not try to go directly to via HTTP and look here, we've got, we can't connect to the server at flag. And there it is. That was our flag that we were looking for. Awesome. Thanks for watching up until now. I really appreciate you checking in. If you want to do all the YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe. That's cool. Otherwise, I'm going to recommend watching my latest Try Hack Me walkthrough from the advent of cyber, which was a fun event at the end of 2022. It spanned 24 challenges and that meant 24 videos. So go check out that last one. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.